Last weekend, Tottenham goalkeeper Hugo Lloris went down with a really nasty looking elbow injury. The official diagnosis was a dislocated elbow and thankfully he's not gonna have surgery but is gonna miss the rest of 2019. Welcome back everyone to your number one source for learning about everything related to sports injuries and sports medicine news. In this video, we're gonna take a look at Hugo Lloris's elbow injury, specifically talking about elbow dislocations. Make sure and subscribe if you like this type of content and wanna stay up to date with future videos and let's get started. Right away when we saw this happen, we could tell something terrible had occurred with Larissa's elbow. Let's go first to our anatomy in the elbow joint, and then we'll take a look at the footage of the injury to tie the two together. There's three bones in our elbow joint. We have the humerus, which is the upper arm bone, and then we have the ulna and the radius, which are your forearm bones. The big bump you feel on the backside of your elbow is called your olecranon, and that's actually part of your ulna. There's two main planes of motion to think about with the elbow joint. The first is flexion and extension, so flexion, bringing the elbow up and extending the arm outward, and that's primarily motion between the ulna and the humerus. Then you have pronation and supination, and that's the idea of turning the palm up or down. Pronation is turning the hand down, and supination is turning it up. And that motion primarily occurs at the radial head in the elbow, with the radial head kind of spinning within the joint. We've talked a lot about the ulnar collateral ligaments that are on the medial side of the elbow, but we also have lateral collateral ligaments that are on the outside of the elbow, providing that additional side-to-side -side stability. There's three primary stabilizers to the elbow joint. The first is just the bony connection between the ulna and the humerus. They're pretty tightly locked with one another between the groove that the ulna rotates about within the humerus, and then the other two stabilizers are the ligaments on the medial and lateral sides of the elbow. Let's talk next about elbow dislocations and relate this to what we saw happen with Loris. In general, think of two different types of elbow dislocations, either anterior or posterior, and we describe them with how the ulna is positioned in relation to the humerus. So if the ulna is pushed backwards, that's gonna be a posterior dislocation, and if it's more forward, that's an anterior dislocation. Posterior dislocations are much more common than anterior dislocations. Looking here at Larissa's injury, it's hard to tell specifically what type this is, but common things being common and the mechanism, we'd suspect more likely a posterior dislocation. Oftentimes a posterior dislocation occurs whenever someone lands with their arm outstretched, like we saw happen with Larisse. An anterior dislocation usually happens when someone takes a direct blow to the backside of the elbow and just hits the ulna and causes the ulna to dislocate forward. In a posterior dislocation, oftentimes the arm is shortened and it's held in a little bit of flexion, as opposed to an anterior dislocation, the arm is typically held extended. So as we see Larisse falling to the ground here, that arm looks to be in an outstretched position, raising the likelihood of a posterior dislocation. However, there's a lot more side-to-side -side instability here whenever he actually does land. It doesn't just go straight backwards. So you have to remember we've got our medial and our lateral collateral ligaments here on the inside and the outside of the elbow that are compromised in this type of injury. It's generally accepted that your lateral collateral ligaments always are torn whenever you have an elbow dislocation, and there's debate about the frequency of when the medial collateral ligaments are torn too. But anytime we see an elbow dislocation, we have to think for sure about damage to those lateral collateral ligaments. In an injury like this, where it looks like there's been a lot of excessive valgus movement where that elbow is bending inward here, that's gonna put even more strain on those medial or ulnar collateral ligaments. And so it wouldn't surprise me with this particular mechanism if there was also damage to his ulnar collateral ligaments just because of that severe valgus motion where the elbow kind of went inward. There are blood vessels and nerves to worry about when someone dislocates a joint. And so in the elbow, the blood vessel we worry about is the brachial artery that runs on the top side of the elbow. And then we have three nerves running around the elbow. We have the median nerve in the front alongside that artery. On the back side, we have the radial nerve, and then on the inside, we have the ulnar nerve. So depending on the specific type of elbow dislocation, we also have to check compromise to these neurovascular structures. The official team report is that he's not going to have to have surgery and is going to at least be out through the end of 2019. This long duration of absence to me implies that there was probably some injury to the ulnar collateral ligament as well as that lateral collateral ligament just based on the time he'll miss. But I think it's good that he's going to avoid surgery, but there's definitely a long road ahead with rehab. You're initially gonna be kept locked in a brace at 90 degrees and the exact hand position, whether it's palm up or palm down, depends on which of those ligaments are torn. The elbow joint is notorious for being really prone to stiffness whenever it's not mobile. So while he's gonna be in a brace, they're gonna be really quick to let him come out of that brace and start to work on regaining his motion 
in a controlled manner that doesn't stress those ligaments. The reason for the length of recovery is you've got to let those ligaments heal and that takes time. Thanks as always for watching everybody. I hope you learned something about the elbow joint, about elbow dislocation, specifically related to Hugo Lloris. I wish him the best in his recovery. Let me know any questions or comments you have below. And until next time, we'll see you later.